So I need to know about this whole ride or die business. Okay. I'm not a fan of what I think it means to you. Like, what do you think ride um, or die mean? Not a, not a fan because it can lead to... Because, like, are you, like, loyal to this dude? Or are you just in a fucking abusive relationship and this is what you call ride or die because you heard it on a rap song and you heard, you know, T.I. and Tiny and Jay-Z and Beyonce sing about, you know, Camilla's, stuff. Camilla's raw. I'm just saying. No lube. She just bent you right on over. Right on like, over. Right I on in. Pipe you. No, Sorry. No, no like, lube. She didn't ease it in. Nope. She didn't use two fingers. She didn't use the thumb. She didn't wet it. She just went thumb? straight. You, you haven't had the I mean, action. I'm, just, I'm visualizing They don't have it. to know. We don't have to tell them. But we don't. We don't. The thumb. So beautiful. You're right. You're right. It's never mind. Yeah. I mean, okay. yeah. So, uh, but I, I totally... And you know what? We talk about this all the time. I'm not a fan of the whole um, word submission because people know where that shit comes from. Yeah. I don't like the whole ride or die term. I think it's kind of like it can get twisted very easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that the I guess the intention is kind of I don't you know what? No, I don't like ride or die. I don't. Never mind. I, I don't. I don't like the whole ride or die thing. And it's funny that you brought up Tiny because like. When you see their relationship, you're like, oh my God, like y'all are cute. Like the fam- I like the show. Like the family show, it's like, oh my God, you guys are a cute dynamic as a family. Yes, but yes, damn, T.I. is like, he's narcissistic as oh, fuck. T.I. has his own um, like, set of uh, ideals that might yeah. be better suited for yeah. the 1930s. I don't know, 1922. Yeah. Maybe, mm-hmm. you know. But that's another topic for another day. Another day. I think the thing is with I think the thing with ride or die is that it basically implies take the beating for the women, take the more beating. so than the men, because you know men are sensitive. Like n words, y'all n words are sensitive as fuck, and y'all base y'all couldn't deal with the stuff that we deal with. Period. So like, if a dude calls you somebody else on the phone or calls a dude. Another dude calls a girl on his phone on the phone. Mind you, her boyfriend has been, you know, has stuck in stuck his penis and anything that's have called outside a female. kids have abused her. Right, and then so what she's supposed to do is have school <laughs> friends what? and family. Like, no. Y'all, and we're serious? No, we're not. We're not doing that. And you know what the sad part is that I hate about today's society when you talk about it, like this generation. Not saying so much this generation because obviously you still have. Yeah. 38 year old re- relationships mm-hmm. you know we all know that person who have been together for like 38 years Absolutely. and has been through a lot for those entire 38 years mm-hmm. but my thing what I don't like like what I see on social media and what I hear from younger girls and older women too is like they stupid <laughs> well that's my man you know what I mean like I'm gonna hold him down regardless and and it's like, you're not supposed to be in anybody's relationship and judge them. I'm not doing that. I'm no, not judging. No, we're not judging at all. My point, when I, when I think of ride or die or a, lo- or a loyal person, I feel like do it because it's who you are and you're not, you're, you're not being beaten to do this. You know what I mean? Like, it's not killing your emotional state. It's not killing your mental state. I, you're, you're, you're in a relationship because you want to and you're flourishing. You know what I mean? Like, okay, yeah, I get that. Like, right. it's healthy for you. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, like you said, when you take constant abuse, when you right, that's constantly taking the mental, the physical, and it's weighing and down on you. And that could be for men or, and women. Both. Because I know some dude who are ride or die, and it's like, dog. But are they really ride or die, or is it... And I don't want it to seem like, you know, we're attacking anyone. Because sometimes when you're talking to people, they don't perceive the message the right way because they feel like, you know, you're judging them. I don't want to do that, but... So I'm just making that disclaimer, like we're not judging anybody, but one thing that I wanted to say, and I can't remember what I was getting ready to say about the whole men thing that you just said, damn, it just, <laughs> I just got a mental block that quick about what you just said about men and women alike, you know, some men who are, what did you just say? Okay. I'm slightly drunk. Oh, we can edit that. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yes. This is, this is know. great. So should we take another one? Just finish it. Cheers. Where's the other one? I have no idea. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) I love it. Cheers. And this is not even a full shot. So Mm -hmm. 
I have, yeah. You just gonna roll. I forgot what she was, what we were talking about earlier. Oh, boobies not out. Sorry. We were talking about ride or die and the fact that this or could obviously. easily learn, well, obviously, <laughs> but the fact that it could lead into abusive situations, abusive relationships, and then it's kind of like, what the fuck do you, what do you, what are you talking about? Like, when is it time to cut ties instead of this ride or die? Like, I get figuring out the relationship. I get, you know, two people um, wanting to not give up quickly because that's that's one thing. Like, I, you said a fucking word. Two people. I said several words. Two. But okay. Well, you know what I meant. Like that. That's a word. Like biblical. Two people wanting to work on. That's right. But see, that's just what, that's that's all we're asking. When I say we, we as a society to grow older, to grow better, we just want both parties mm -hmm. to work at it. You know what I mean? To be invested. Right, but I think the thing is, in order for it to be ride or die, that naturally implies that both people are not necessarily working at it, but both people are com complicit in mm -hmm. this whole structure of, I'm going to do some fuck shit, and you, my dear, are going to just deal with it. And see, this goes back to our other show, Shit or Get Off the Pot. You know how I was saying, I think yeah. we should just go, go with the flow, because the average person... And we all know because we've all been in our 20s, the average person at 20, 25, some people even at 35, 45, some people just take a longer time to mature. I need you to not be 45. They don't the flow, get though. certain things out their system. But you, you want to be system. in a relationship, and that's when you end up in ride or die relationships. I can understand. I, I totally can understand <gasps> shit happens. You know what I mean? And you guys have a dispute, or you're not getting along here and there. Because shit is going to happen. It's life, just like with your mother, your siblings. Life happens, but sorry, when you're a toxic person and you're putting somebody through something all the time, right? Get but that I, shit out your system first. The thing is, I think though part of the part of the the dynamic of the ride or die, you know, situation is that it's a lot of times, from what I've seen, is a man with means and a woman without, or a woman with less, and so it's kind of like, okay, well, shit. Metro PCS is going to pay itself. Let me tell you something. I'm all about breaking generational cycles. Oh, absolutely. This is all generational You're gonna have to get a job, cycles. Bitch. That's all it is. People say all the time, oh, I want a man who will take care of me. I want this right? and that. You know, yeah. I'd rather cry in a Bentley than in a Honda Accord. But you don't realize mama and my dear and whoever else we call our older great grandmothers grandmothers they went through a lot oh for sure absolutely they went through a lot that they don't discuss with us but we see it in the way that our our per their personalities are a right. lot of older women are so hard and but if here is saying that you want to cry in a bentley and here is saying that you want to cry in a bentley i mean we're not telling you what to do but just use this sometimes yes it's okay to be yes. reckless and responsible. It's okay to be reckless and responsible at the same damn time. I can give you an example. Please. Sherry was a wild child in her 20s, but always effing responsible because I worked in healthcare. So I saw what so an you, orgasm. So the good thing is, you don't, good. No I diseases. saw what, right. I saw what a drunken orgasm can do to a person forever for the rest you know what i mean so it was like i was reckless i'm having a good time we're taking 10 shots tonight we're going to the strip club we're making it rain we're doing all that but i'm making sure my bills are paid and i'm also making sure that i have somebody to drive me home safely and i'm making sure whatever penis i hop on that night and of course it's night I'm just, you know, become... <laughs> you know because i've only stuck with one person my entire life you know um here those are i feel the judgment I, I feel the judgment but yeah, you know what I mean? Like, reckless, responsible. Have a good time. Turn up. YOLO. But you got to be responsible. You got to wake up the next day and look at yourself in the mirror. Like, So basically what you're saying is ride or die just essentially does no, not I, work. I totally got off topic. You did. I think ride or die is... Because think about some friendships. Let's not think about relationships. Think okay. about friendships. You can be a ride or die with your friend. Your friend didn't put you through shit, though. You know what I mean? Some friends will put you through shit. Wait, no, but let's talk about good, healthy friendships. Okay. You have good, healthy friendships? Yes, absolutely. Think about your good, healthy... That's your ride or die. She call you in the middle of the night because she doesn't do it all the time. Right. She doesn't do it all the time. She call you... Assuming, assuming my phone is on, assuming the assuming ringer is your off, phone, Right. You are making right. a lot of assumptions. Okay, well, I let's go back to... I be that ride or die friend. Let's, pre let's pretend like you're this age in 1991 when there was a landline. So you heard it ringing. Okay. You didn't turn the uh, ringer off. Okay. 
you heard the ringer, and she calls you at three o'clock, and she never calls you. Uh huh. That's not. This is this is in my career, and she's crying. Girl, this N word just hit me. You're going to the house. Yes. That's ride or die. Because she doesn't yes. usually put. The, I yes. think ride or die can be positive, but yes. I think the average person thinks ride or die means take the abuse forever. Right. Correct. And don't leave. Correct. So I think you. But I think that that's how it goes. I think that that's the rap culture, so to speak. Not necessarily just rap culture, but that that's that's the type of, that's the type of music that I mainly listen to, or you know. But so that's the reference for me, at least. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So it's kind of just like you then have a culture that is pushing this. All right. Well, you know, he has five babies. With, you know, stick it out. Three, three bitches. That's your man. Y'all meant y'all. Man. And you know what? Listen, let me tell y'all something. I really do believe in soul ties and I really believe uh-huh. in somebody being for you. And you may not even, you, you may not even know it. You know what I mean? Cause a lot of people aren't connected spiritually energy. Mm-hmm. They don't, they don't really do that stuff. So they don't even know that this person is your, your soulmate. Right. I don't care about the whole marriage thing. And oh, look at this. I don't care about the whole marriage thing and you know, things like that. Cause I feel like if you want to live happily ever after the way you want to do it, do you. But totally forgot what I was saying again. I think she the shots. Shot. She I the think shot. the shots have. You know what? We're going to be embarrassed. Shots have it. You're going. We we're going to be embarrassed. Probably going to be embarrassed when we see this show. But <laughs> mm, cocktails, debauchery, and commentary. Here we are. This is what happens. This is what happens when we just blossom and just let it flow. Vil. Remember what did we say? Um, what was the show? That we talked about the first show and you winking it. This is what happens. Well, this is this is exactly what happened. We, this, we've come, ladies and gentlemen. We've come full circle. Full I circle. told you it was gonna work out eventually. You just gotta let it flow. And if tequila helps you do that, then you just keep drinking the tequila, or putting the tequila to my lips and making it look like I'm drinking it. But oh, you're not really drinking. Drink. Well, that's cute too. That that that'll work too. That works. But anyway. I think the distinction between ride or die is a question of whether or not you're going to sit and stay for the fucking abuse or you're just going to pick up and fucking leave. Like, what are you doing? Like, what, what, what are you doing? Because I think there's a difference between staying with somebody and somebody wanting to work it out or, you know, one person having enough faith in the relationship to be like, okay, you know what? I think we can get through this. I think we can do this. I'm going to stick it out and see and... You know, I agree with that, but I also think it's two sides. Yeah, oh no, I also of feel course. like don't be that person that's constantly at one point. You know, at one cut point it's losses. a mistake, right? Yeah, at one point it's a mistake. Go. When this but is the question is, when are you gonna cut your losses and go? Right, like I'm, like I'm saying, at one one mistake. All right, cool. It, it genuinely Wait, what you mean was by a mistake? mistake? Because if you pull Meaning, out a gun and we drive, no, that is not a mistake. Well, no, no, no. I'm talking about when, like as soon as they say step out of the vehicle, I am done. I am gone. I do not know this Negro right here. Thank you very much and good night. We could have been together ten years, twenty minutes. Well, depending care. on I'm the done. level of the mistake, depending on the level of right. the mistake, when you keep repeating that mistake, you yeah. don't give an F. Period. Men and women, you don't give an F when you keep doing it. Period. And at that yes, point, I think yes, and I think it depends on the type of mistake, though, because I know that certain things you have to be mentally. It takes mental, I guess, unconditioning or unlearning stuff, mm-hmm. and then relearning how that. to do things another way. I agree with but that. But I think the distinction between that, because when you say okay, one mistake, or if you and you continue making the same mistake. It well, all depends on the type of mistake. Well, it's one of those things, sorry. It's one of those things, think about a kid in a parent relationship. Okay, if I yeah. keep telling you not to do this and you keep doing it, what they're is that? Co- yeah. That's disrespect. Right, There's uh, going absolutely. to be consequences. Right. Now that we're adults, mm-hmm. we're mentally mature enough to understand that my mate really does not like this and this is bothering my mate. Yeah. Or I see this really affecting my, mm-hmm. like I can't see somebody crying. You know what right. I mean? Like yeah. it hurts me to see somebody crying. I hate dogs. If your dog passed away, I'm bawling. And I can't even stand dogs. So it's like if I'm seeing my mate crying and, and he's crying because he says, Sherry, the way you talk to me is disrespectful. Or yeah. the way, you know, at some point, if I don't stop Camille, 
Mm -hmm. Then why would I expect him to be a ride or die? You know what I mean? I don't care about you enough for you to ride for me. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. Nope. And that's that what I'm saying. Sense. It's like on both levels. Like, I feel like you have to give that respect on both. Like, if you want to ride or die, you have to give that ride or die. You, you give the same energy. A ride energy, or die relationship. The, you give the same energy that you get. Yeah. So, but that also can lead to both people just being fucking toxic together. Now, well, that's like the majority yes. of the world. I Craig. Yes. And it's that is. whole, you know, I need financial stability. It's that whole right. 1950s way of thinking still coming in. We're not even live that that world does not even exist anymore. And Agreed. we're still holding on to those values. Why? That world doesn't exist anymore. Because more than likely it's it's a lot of it is because of the financial imbalance, so it's like you said, are you gonna cry in a Bentley or are you gonna cry on, you know, somebody's sidewalk and if you're not trying to get a job you're probably going to cry in somebody's bentley versus somebody's sidewalk that's just being real it's being real but like it's... look at all of the I, it's I not worth calling names because it's like the entertainers or whatever who's like oh yeah you know my girl has been with me through this that and the other thing she is here there and everywhere you know face is broken in half and he there talking about her ride or die. Oh my God, I know exactly who you're talking about. Celebrities, right? Yeah. 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 So it's I, just like... You just never know where this is going to go. So yeah, we can't say anything. Right. So so it's kind of like, okay, well, you're talking about ride or die, but you bitch, you, bitch, you about to die. Yeah. Like, you... Yeah. You, 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 mm -hmm. you about to die. You probably mm -hmm. should let that and go. And you know what the sad part is, is that women don't understand how smart and valuable they are. They don't understand that they well, can yes, make their own... Well, yes, it comes from a self... Yeah, a self worth, self you know, esteem. You can make your own money. You could, you could do whatever you want to do and meet Unless a guy with the like same. St I mean, if you don't, but then don't stay with the abusive N word. I get it. Yeah. Sometimes getting up to go to work is just annoying. I don't know, I, but I'd rather I go it. to work than wake up to a punch every hand. Oh, absolutely. Or go get I'm just saying antibiotics that, you know, I'm every other week. The people know me at the pharmacy. Yeah, I don't want to probably roll my eyes when I. But you everybody's know, not the same, up, right? But, Everybody's not the same, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Not saying that I would do it. I'm not saying that I would stay. I'm not saying any of that. I'm Let's just, just saying pray that. my offspring doesn't do it. Thankfully, like, I come from good stock. And yeah. Your, your mother taught you from young, you know, where to go. And my mother is all about balance. She's fun and, mm -hmm. like, she's the life of the party, but she understands responsibilities. And I just want to thank you, Eileen. Okay. Don't tell anybody I call her by her first name. Well, she's she going to. She won't hear this. She's going to. She's, She's like that. me. She has a short attention span, too. She probably could kick clicked off at like three minutes. <laughs> ah! Anyway, yeah. people. We'll that see you next time, right? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Absolutely. Well, you, the liquor is kicking in. So yes. I thought it wasn't going to kick in. It's actually kind of kicking in now. So I'm out. It has kicked in. Oh, she really is out. Bye. <laughs>